Have you ever wondered what the best cereal is? Well today, I've got 15 different cereals to try, and we're going to find out. First up, it's what I call the bland category. Number one, just plain old Cheerios. Mm. There's zero flavor, but I mean it's just a classic. So nothing really too Cheerios. First one up, so it's going to go right in the middle. Next up in the bland category is Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh yeah, much needed over those bland Cheerios. Yeah, the Honey Nut definitely adds to it. Easy, easy move. Put those ones above the Cheerios. Last in the Cheerios train, Frosted Cheerios. Let's see if these can beat out those Honey Nut Cheerios. Everything's gonna beat the regular Cheerios. I have a feeling. Mmm. That's a lot of sugar. I can't believe I'm saying that already because we're going to get some really sugary cereals later. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm saying Honey Nut's better. So the Cheerios, Honey Nut's definitely my top so far. Now we've got original Special K. This one's gonna definitely be bland. I will say, I do love me some red berries though. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that good. I'd say Cheerios are the clear one up on original special K. Okay. Now I've got frosted mini wheats. A lot of people like this cereal. Me, not so much, but let's see. Let's give it a shot. Soaking in some milk. The flavor, I hate. But, I can actually see why people like it because of the texture. It actually has like a fun, a fun chew, if, if that can, if that's a thing. But it's way too weedy. So, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna put ahead of the Special K original. It was just that bad. Had nothing going for it. Alright, we're moving out of the bland category. Don't really know what to call this category, but starts with Apple Jacks. Ooh, there's some green, a couple green ones in here. Do you think the green ones have a different flavor? Let, let's see. That one tastes like an Apple Jack. I think it does have a different flavor. Probably not, but let's see. There's some cinnamon, I think. Mm hmm. Hmm. Apple cinnamon. It's okay. I'm thinking like that. Honey Nut Cheerios still in the lead. Now I got Corn Pops. 
Sweet crispy crunch. They smell like corn. They look like corn. Mmm. Mmm. I was not expecting that. They are very crunchy. I feel like if you like corn and you like popcorn, you'll like these. I don't love them. They're okay. I'm more just like shocked with how crunchy they are. The flavor is not great either. It's not like a, it's very bland. Mm. Right in the middle there. Next is Golden Grams. Kind of excited for something a little bit different compared to the rest of the things we've got up here. Mmm. Yeah. I like that flavor. This bag has no details on it. That's an easy one. Go right at the top. Right at the top. Yep. That, for me, that's the best one so far. Next, Frosted Flakes. We're gonna find out if they're great. They should just call them sugar flakes. That is a lot of sugar. Similar to the frosted Cheerios. I do really like the crunch and the flavor of the flakes. But, I don't love them. They're not great. False marketing. We're going to put them right above the Cheerios frosting. Now we're moving into the chocolate category. First one up, Cocoa Krispies. I wonder if this is the one that turns your milk into chocolate milk. That's some chocolate right there. Mmm. It's a lot of chocolate. If you like chocolate, this one's for you. Mmm. See it? I didn't love a lot of these, so it's going to be tough because these are going to have to start just funneling over. You know what? I'm going to put it under Apple Jacks. Yep. Now I've got Cocoa Puffs. This is definitely the one that makes your milk into chocolate milk. It says it right on the packaging. Yeah, those are pretty chocolatey. Mm. It's good though. So I like it better than the Cocoa Krispies. Yes. So where does it sit over here? Definitely not better than Golden Grams. They're still top.
I'm going to put it right in here. Applejack's is still going to stay on the top three. Now this one I'm excited about. Reese's Puffs. Exactly, it's pretty much dessert for breakfast. Let's see what we got. It's pretty good. Definitely get a lot of peanut butter. Where's this one gonna land? One more bite. All right, Apple Jacks is getting pushed out. Reese's Puffs. Going up to number three. On to the last category. This category I call crazy sugary cereal that kids will love. And first, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Cinnamon sugar, good crunch. This is easy. All right to number one. Toast Crunch, number one. Now I've got tricks. These just look fun. They smell good too. <laughs> just all these different flavors, or not flavors, but all these different shapes. They taste so fake, but it's still good. Mm. I'm torn if this is going to go above or below Honey Nut Cheerios. One more bite. I'm gonna go below Honey Nut Cheerios. Yep. All right, last cereal. We've got Lucky Charms. Not just any Lucky Charms. It's Lucky Charms with magical unicorn marshmallows. I feel like I remember having this as a kid and I would save all the marshmallows to the end. I mean, those marshmallows are, are delicious. All right, final one. Where is it going to go? No, no, no. Number three. We're going to the number three spot. That's my final ranking. Let's take a look. Oh, let's, come on. We don't need all these guys in here.
Top three. Lucky Charms, Golden Grams, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's my top three. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. If I was completely wrong, that's all right. That's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.